kind of started my journey when uh, I was playing football for a, a local football team. Uh, I wasn't really getting anywhere within that sport and I felt it was time to try something else. So I went to MMA for fitness and uh, never looked back, got a taste of competing and here I am six years on and competing in some of the biggest shows in the UK. So I have uh, no traditional martial art background, you know, and I, I feel that's the best way. I, I, I don't find myself relying on a traditional art, so I just started straight MMA and it's, uh, it's been a great journey so far. What really made me start wanting to compete, uh, there was a local competition in the gym. It was a, it was a charity event, a grappling tournament, and I'd done this and done quite well in it, and that was the, that was the bug for me. Uh, I never gave up, and then uh, I was looking for fights, and it progressed step on uh, the next step, you know, uh, amateur to pro, and here we are. First few amateur fights were a bit of a nightmare. The first one especially, I remember getting into the cage and I just didn't know where I was. I was totally nervous uh, and I froze under the lights. Uh, I ended up getting beat, but then it, it gave me that bug again and thrived me on and I got my next few wins and that's when I was truly, truly hooked and sinkered, you know, uh, I was uh, angered. Family have always been a, a big part of my success. So I think at the start they didn't really know what what fighting was and they thought it was just a fad and I think once they seen me getting you know five six wins and starting to fight for titles they were like this is a serious sport and you know it's it's, it's safer than it than it seemed at the start so they were totally behind me buying tickets and wishing me luck so I think uh, the standout moment for me in my amateur career was I done a, a four-man tournament in battle zone that was actually my last amateur fight and I think the preparation I put into that, I think everyone's seen how serious I was with the sport. I was coming off a loss getting into that tournament and you know I put my heart and soul into that and uh, I remember that night being being amazing and at the end I sat down and kind of just realised like it, you get exactly what you put in and I think my coach seen that and my next fight was my pro debut so it, it, was a, it was an amazing night and I think it was one that really sparked my career. I noticed uh, not that big a jump in amateur and pro to be honest, it was because I prepared as a pro with a full pro team so the transition for me was pretty easy and smooth and I think that's why I came in with a bang, you know, I, there was no adjusting period, it was pretty much straight in and straight to work. My first pro fight against John Redmond, it was a bit of a, a, bit of a crazy, crazy kind of turn of events, uh, you know, it came very quick, uh, I think nine days notice, uh, up to weight classes and uh, but for me, it was the perfect. It was a perfect way to get into into the pro ranks because all eyes were on me that night, and you know a lot of people thought it would go different. But the team that needed to know how it would go, we knew we'd win. So we got the win, and it was a great fight and a great night for me. But I thought the reaction would be kind of exactly the way it was. You know, I knew if I beat him in front of his own crowd, in front of Obama, uh, they would be majorly surprised to say. But uh, like our team wasn't, their team were, and. We knew it would go that way, uh, you know, it was much more than an amateur via pro. I was, I was already a pro at that stage, in my opinion. I had previously accepted that fight with Jai Herbert, and then, unfortunately, my father passed. Uh, so it was very tough and very emotional time going into that fight, but there was two ways I could have acted. I could have sunk or I could have swam, so uh, I swam the whole way, and, you know, I put the best prep into that fight I could, and uh, it, was an, it, was, it was actually an amazing fight camp due to the how powerful it felt, uh, how powerful I felt. So uh, after that fight, I decided, you know, to do a few more things to tweak my career, quit my job, went full time. And, you know, I, I'd be doing him proud. So here I am in TriStar. I've been here for four weeks and it's just another another way of making him proud. And that's who it's all for, really. After my pro debut, the, the whole thing kind of snowballed, you know, it, it was a, a load of press, you know, a load of stuff like that, all the all the good stuff to kind of go with the sport as such. But, um, you know, I got the 5-0, and uh, all eyes were on me, and unfortunately I, I, I took a bad loss, you know, so here we are, we're going into my, uh, into my seventh pro fight, which it's crazy even to say that it's my seventh pro fight, but, you know, I've learned a lot from that media process, and I'm starting to strip a few things back, and, you know, I, I feel I'm going to get back to my roots again, and really start showing how I got here. I think the highlight of my pro career was definitely winning the, the British title, you know, uh, it was a great night. Uh, obviously, the the events before the fight made it a challenging night, but like I knew once I stepped in the cage that night, it, it was going to go that way. But like I, I feel I haven't reached my full goal of my pro career yet, and uh, my my greatest day in martial arts is definitely yet to come. You know, uh, if that was all I ever achieved, I'd be I'd be bitterly disappointed. So 
No, it's about building and that, but it was a, it was a great night. You know, I'm only twenty one and I and I'm away from home, away from my comfort zone, and away from anything, any ease of comfort or you know. So it's definitely mentally tough. It's physically tough. It's everything, everything you would kind of expect. But it's it's an amazing journey. You know, I am twenty one. There's I know twenty one year olds are, like haven't even got a job, haven't aren't even got the aspirations of getting a job. So. I feel like I'm succeeding in my, my path of life for sure and but like I'm nowhere near done I'm not even I'm not really even not started yet so um this is just uh, building my future and this is foundation as such yeah I went from like a, a brilliant gym back home to like an even better gym out here you know in terms of training partners and stuff like that you know uh it's been an amazing experience I've had the best preparation uh my mat times maybe doubled tripled uh, you know, just being a full time gym and full time professional fighters, it's been a great experience. Uh, obviously, very tough, but like it's exactly what I'm here for. It's exactly what I signed up for, and I'm here only getting better. You know, uh, normally uh, back home I say one percent better every day. Here I'm saying five percent better every day. It's uh, it's an amazing experience. Joe Duffy's a character. Uh, he's a great lad. You know, he's spent a lot of time invested in me, uh, and you know I'm grateful for that. I always heard he was a good lad, but like now he he has these uh the Irish stick together as such. Plans for the future is uh, get to the top of the Irish rankings, get to the top of the European rankings and get to the top of the world. You know, uh, I will be fighting for the best promotions, the biggest shows, the biggest venues. I want all the, all the good stuff, you know. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to keep on my journey, keep out working people, you know, not get caught up in this hype and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to put my head down and work and I, I know where I can end up. I know where I'll be. So, you know, it's about staying humble and staying on my journey.